now we will do uniform circular motion see till now we were doing motion along a straight line now we have to take circular motion so first we will discuss here uniform circular motion it's very simple example you take a stone tie with the thread and keep on moving like this just revolve like this so this stone will travel like this path so this is the center and when the body moves in a circular path this one we say body has circular motion so now see here in uniform circular motion certain things are very important here suppose you have taken the point a from where motion starts now we can take at here origin t is equal to 0 0 time as the body starts moving from here it comes to here 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 and here ultimately comes back to this position the circular path everywhere you will find when the body is here direction of velocity is like this when the body is here direction of velocity is like this when the body is here direction of velocity is here so every time direction of velocity keeps on changing so here if a speed of the body that means magnitude of velocity of the body remains constant but direction of the velocity is continuously changing because of the change in direction there is change in velocity as velocity changes due to change in direction there is change in acceleration so in this case if it is a uniform circular motion the speed of the body remains constant whereas velocity changes due to change in direction as a result acceleration changes therefore this motion is said to be accelerated motion so see here what is the definition of now uniform circular motion now just i'll repeat the definition when the body moves in a circular path with a constant speed motion is said to be uniform circular motion another example here is this motion said to be accelerated yes this motion is said to be accelerated because change in direction takes place and as a result velocity also changing here if this circular path has got radius r so we can write distance traveled distance traveled in one revolution is equal to 2 pi r suppose time taken to complete one revolution is t so total distance in one revolution you have got 2 pi r total time to complete one revolution you have got t so now you can calculate velocity easily that is 2 pi r upon t that is velocity upon sorry distance upon time so here we can do this but now example related to this like earth is revolving around the sun so we can assume orbit of earth is circular we can take its time period and calculate its speed similarly moon is revolving around the earth we can take its time period we can calculate its speed so these are the examples where we do all these uh, related to circular motion and this one there are certain topics related to this like uh, angular displacement and angular velocity which i am not telling here because it is not in this syllabus also here in ninth standard but when the body moves in a circular path it has got linear velocity as well as circular uh, angular velocity you know angular velocity i will just give you information about this angular velocity is represented by this symbol is pronounced as omega is equal to theta by t angle upon time is a angular velocity here we measure angle angle is measured in radian so this is about angular velocity 
and v is known as linear velocity so we can also write relation between linear velocity and angular velocity this relation is simply v is equal to omega into r so here v is linear velocity omega is angular velocity and r is the radius of the circle so now we will do examples that means questions related to this in next slide